So what, uh, should we start talking evacuation? Uh, maybe hospitalization. <laughs> Carter, there is no magma chamber. Dr. Hood is unstable. Uh, not so much. Seems like a smart guy. No, he's brilliant. He used to be head of earthquake prediction. We can't predict earthquakes. <laughs> okay, yeah, and Neil Armstrong was the first person on the moon. What? Uh, nothing. Look, five years ago, Hood predicted a 9.6 on the real foot fault. We evacuated Memphis. Oh, was there an earthquake in Memphis? No. Hood cracked under the pressure. He left right after that because he kept seeing things that just weren't there. Well, I did see the uh, tribo, um, the swirly light. Yes, because of Hood's tunneler. His fractured ion bore probably produced the discharge. Last spring, Hood punched into the underground parking twice because he thought that he had discovered a new myelinite fault. Carter, please, I need you to keep your eye on him. Don't let him do any more damage. Okay. I'll see you later. Oh, appreciate it. Bye. Program produces anything. Speaking of Thorne, I better get back and brief her on this. No, let her wait. I need you to look at something. Viscosity tables? No, guest list. Up to 430. Any chance we could knock out some of your weirder relatives? Nathan, we're in the middle of a crisis here. Well, we're always in the middle of a crisis. If we wait, if we weren't in a crisis, we wouldn't get married. Just, uh, pick up. Fargo, I have a lava problem right now. No time to worry about fake dogs. Oh! Ain't no man who wants one last ride on the Ferris wheel? I'm just doing my job. You know, I was in the Congo when Mount Nyiragongo erupted. After it blew, I went to find some friends outside Goma. Every single person in that village. Some things you don't mess with. Tell them to hurry. We have methane vents popping all over town. Nice, big one! Dr. Blake? Dr. Fox, she was to remain in detention. These are my orders. I thought her neural net could help us locate the magma pocket. Even with Fifi's nose, we got 50 square miles to search. I ran the pressure data. You were right, Dr. Blake. I got a map vector with 97% probable. I really didn't mean to hurt anyone, really. Carter! Yeah, we have new numbers on the magma pocket. Turn east. Oh, that's nice. I've been going over this guest list, and I can't decide, so... We just need to have a bigger wedding. You know what I think? What? I think we need a smaller wedding. Oh, really? Yeah. Big weddings are just too much pressure. We'll still have to invite Cardi. You do need a maid of honor. Hey. Interested in a game? Nah, I should go home and change my pants because Fargo is a cheater. <laughs> Sparky? You know, pressure can be a very destructive force. Uh-huh. So did you have any luck with that uh, troubling errand? I certainly did. That was Thorne? You're a very perceptive man, Jack. Clearly not, but I do know the type. And uh, they don't do good deeds. Hmm. She had me run a uh, <clears throat> radiation survey outside of town. Now, have you ever heard of baryogenetic radiation? No. Right. Well, that's because it doesn't exist. It's only a theory. At least I thought so until today. You found some? Just a trace. So, uh, theoretically, I mean, what does that mean? Well, there are 117 elements. They make up everything in the universe, everything from your Jeep to a black hole. The only thing that could make baryogenetic radiation is number 118. It is a new element. Well, right, right, uh, is it dangerous? Having a clue. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm missing something. So new isn't necessarily bad? No, no, it's, it's just um, curious. Look, you, you don't want to play, do you? No. Right, I have all the data in my garage. I will run you through it tomorrow. Great, all right, thanks. Well, hey, Henry, uh, thanks for being on my side with this. Hey, I do not keep secrets from my friends anymore.